Welcome, people of Holy Cross, to a weekly word with Pastor Nate. This is my chance to check in with each of you to let you know about what's happening in our life together as a church and to invite you to reflect with me on this next week's upcoming lesson from worship. I want to invite you to participate in a couple ministries that are coming up. One is actually already underway, and that's Family Promise. As you may know, Family Promise is our church's uh, attempt to help alleviate the suffering of homeless families uh, and to help these families find permanent housing. We work together with lots of other congregations in the Athens area to provide shelter and job training and assistance in seeking permanent housing for families. And you may or may not know that there are some volunteer roles that, that involve a little bit more work, like providing a meal or providing transportation, but there are a few volunteer uh, slots that we need to fill that simply involve uh, being present in case there's an emergency, providing hospitality for these families. So I hope you'll consider signing up for one of the open slots that we have left this week and next. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me and I'll be happy to connect you with somebody who can tell you more. Also, I want to encourage you to be present at worship this next week, especially between the two services from 945 until 1045. This next Sunday is God's Work, Our Hands Sunday, and every Sunday school class for all ages will be doing a community project and a there will be something for every age and ability level, so we hope to see you here on Sunday, September the 12th at 9.45 for God's Work, Our Hands Sunday. Last but not least, I hope that you'll put on your calendars and be present for the Blessing of the Animals on October the 3rd. That's a Saturday at 4 o'clock p.m. There will be a short liturgy, a scripture reading, and a, uh, an opportunity to have your pet uh, prayed over and, and uh, have God's blessing invoked on the life of your pet and your family and your household. So I hope to see you Saturday, October 3rd at 4 o'clock. As we look ahead to this next Sunday, uh, September the 12th, which is the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, our preaching text is taken from James, the third chapter, and we'll read verses 1 through 12. The central uh, nub of this text, I think, are verses uh, 10 and 11. Let me read those for you. James writes, With our tongues we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. We hear in this text something that we we know. We know that words are harmful, that words can damage. There's no more false statement than that old cliche most of us learned in elementary school that sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's false. Words have power. Words have the power to change things. When someone told you for the first time that, that they love you, when someone compliments you, when someone encourages you, those words change things for the better. And when someone insults us or shames us or heaps uh, uh, awful uh, ideas upon us uh, to harm us, those words hurt. James connects that truth that most of us know with a central point of our faith that we are made in the image of God and we are made to praise God and honor God's creation and bring about healing and reconciliation for all of creation. So we are called as followers of Jesus who have been redeemed by the word to use our words to bring healing and life. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday and I pray all of God's best upon you and your family. Let's pray together. 
O God, through suffering and rejection, you bring forth our salvation. And by the glory of the cross, you transform our lives. Grant that for the sake of the gospel, we may turn from the lure of evil, take up our cross, and follow your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.